Well, good afternoon. Um, I'll just shut that. That's probably made not one bit of difference. Right, okay, good afternoon. Um, I am now going to review the British Army <laughs> rations. Now, I know this seems a bit weird. Uh, Brit uh, British soldier or ex British soldier reviewing British Army rations. Now, I've never tried these. These weren't around when I left the army. So this is the first time I've seen these. Um, and already, this has got to be, the, it's like doing a week shop in Lidl or something. That is, and it weighs a lot. Uh, yeah. For a 24 hour ration, there's a, there's a lot in here. So what we'll do is um, we'll open it up, take a, a deeper look. So let's uh, let's go do that. Okay, so you can see how big that is already, which is a huge packet. <laughs> That's what some women say on a Saturday night. Anyway, uh, let's open it up. There's already a little nick in the bottom here. Like I said again, I've never seen these or know what's in them. So, ooh, sweet chili peanuts. Pasta bolognese. <laughs> it seems that every pack we've been having lately <laughs> has got pasta bolognese in it. Bird, shut up. 24 feedback and prize draw. You gotta be shitting me. What the hell is this? Really? Once re <laughs> once completed, please return to your CQMS SQMS so we can put it in the bin. Yeah, well done. <laughs> nice try. There we go. Okay. Now, I know sometimes they do put, pack things really stupidly because they did when I was in. So they give you the biggest Ziploc bag. For all of that, <laughs> well done, the military, British, British Army, well done, all the British military, never fa failed to amaze me, what the stuff they did, maple, oh, maple syrup bun, oh, okay, vegetarian all day breakfast, vegetarian sausages, they're not sausages, it's just vegetables, Tomato pasta salad. Oh, okay. Oh, crikey. So, two two meals. And basil sauce. Oh, that's all right, isn't it? Two main meals. Energy drink. So you get a lot in here. See? But they're those, these tissues when I was serving. Cereal bar, caramel cereal bar. Now for the old and bold, I don't really watch this. It's no Yorkie, but there is. I've missed these. I haven't had these biscuits now. About 14 years. I love these things. Biscuit fruits. Oh, it's morale. I mean, the packet's got bigger, so maybe the actual. I'm still getting more out. So raspberry drink. So there's two lots of drinks, three lots of drinks. Got chocolate. Oh, cola bottles? Oh, hell no, well, we're not waiting for that. <laughs> please let it be the ones, please let it be the ones from when I was a kid. Now this is something new to me, so. Oh, um. I want to sign up now and bring back up. And they're still not finished. Like a fruit shoot type thing. Still going. More drinks. Oh, 
and this is a new one. This is totally new for me. They've actually put like a like a sauce, not a sauce, but um, a condiment thing. Ne we never had that. We had to buy our own, bring our own. That is a lot of stuff. I can't believe they put cola bottles in. Oh yeah, boy. The MOG have actually done something correct for a change. Right. Let's change to the camera a minute. It's the simple things in life that make squaddies happy. And having those in there, when you're cold, wet, miserable, that has probably been the best thing they've ever bloody done, that. I mean, I would have still like to have the the old style chocolate in there where it's all um, <laughs> it's all white, because it's been it's that old, and because that's quite nice, especially the milk chocolate one. Is the most stuff we've ever had in a set of rations. I mean, we've got one, two, three, four lots of drinks. We've got energy one, raspberry, grapefruit, and tropical flavour. Four drinks. That's just four. And this is for 24 hours, so that's one every four hours. But that doesn't include your hot chocolate. And we know it's because it's a British ration. You know, I'm saying it now. I hope they've got it in there. Rolled in the biggest Ziploc bag for a, for a handful of bits and bobs. It's probably a rubbish bag as well, but you know. And what's that? Creamer. So you know what that means, don't you? Four lots of creamer, two lots of sugar. Brew kit coffee. What's that? Antibacterial wipe. Hey, what's in doing that? Another coffee. Spork. Now we know th this never come in the rations that we had when I was in. We never we had to take our own, and you know, I think they're taking the idea off the, off the Americans. So, you know, and it's good, good study. Spork. If you wonder why it's called a spork, it's because it's a spoon. And a fork. It's clever, isn't it? Windproof matches. Puri tabs. Six of. See? Another set of antibacterial wipes. More sugar. Breakfast tea. Yes! We've actually got one now that's actually got a proper brew kit. See, this is why this. Uh, you know, I'm, I may be a snob with all the other ones, but. I mean. When you get when you get a ration pack, you should have a brew kit. If it's a 24-hour ration pack, even an 8-hour ration pack, you should at least have one hot beverage and a drink. Now I've got the Chinese one, which will, which is probably going to be up before this one, or you know, um, there was nothing in it. There was just two or four dried flavor or sweet biscuits with a bit of meat and some pickled pepper or peppers. Or whatever I pickled it was. Um, you, there's, you know, there was no, no chewing gum. There was no way of, you know, it, it will have to be eaten out of the packet. But you know, there you go. So we got what's that? Four, four cold drinks, and one, two, three, four, five hot drinks. With the British one. Oh, wait, yeah, pepper, pepper there, look. Is that pepper? Pepper, yeah, pepper. Well, I didn't see that. That one snuck in. So, where's the salt? It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I can't believe how much stuff's here. 
So we got, because in, in the ones I remember, the ones that we get, you get one hot meal for breakfast. So it's always, always called an all day breakfast. This is a vegetarian one. I'm gonna eat it anyway. Because it's probably is quite nice. Surprising really. Oh yeah, chewing gum as well. But then you've also got two hot meals, which we never had. So you go all day breakfast or whenever you can eat it, dinner or lunch or or, or your tea. I call it breakfast, dinner, tea. So let's say breakfast, because it's a breakfast, that'll have me tomato pasta for me dinner and I'll have me bolognese for me tea. That's three hot meals. And then that doesn't also that, that. And then don't forget you got your your sweet chili mix, cereal bar, your syrup bun, your biscuits, you know your jam. Then you got your sweets. So we got our cola bottles. And then you know chewing gum. This is ridiculous. This is so much better than when I was in. So much better. Because when I was in, when I, you know, when, I, when we went on exercise, we're, here's, here's one for you. When I was in Iraq in 2003, um, I had the same rations, or we had, the whole squadron, had the same rations for four months. We were getting the same menu every day. I mean, the only thing about good bear was we had sausage and beans every morning, which any squaddy will tell you is, is morale in a bag. So yeah, sausage and beans for breakfast, and then our main meal was chicken and mushroom pasta. After a week, that gets a bit boring. So you can imagine how it was after four months. And then obviously when the war died down, within you know a week of us moving into Bajor Airfield, we had Burger King and Pizza Hut there. So... Yeah. <laughs> right. I've got to have a bit of um, nostalgia here. Biscuit fruit. They're always bastard to get into. Oh. Oh, there we go. That this now reminds me of multiple places I've been. So sitting on my tank in Canada, live firing at about three o'clock in the morning. Northern Lights. And also reminds me of being in Afghanistan. Everywhere. I didn't like the brown ones, the, the plain ones. I still ate them because you know we had we had pâtés or pat, pate pâté, so you could scoop it in that, which wasn't too bad. But they usually could eat like this, and this was you always having your top left hand pouch or in your zip thing. Yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> oh, mystery. Okay, calm down. Only rations. Only rations. But you know, if, if, once you've served and you, you come out and you kind of like miss some of these things, and it's the simple things in life that make you happy. And they make me happy. So, so cereal bar, caramel cereal bar. This is menu 11 as well. <laughs> That's nice. Oh, that is quite nice. Right. Moving some better because the wife wants to try it as well. 
and she gets back in a minute. So maple syrup bun. See, that's an American thing. This is because they have them in their um, their rations as well. But you know, they have uh, they have actually the MOD has uh, ration wise from when I was in have actually outshone themselves here. Well done. <coughs> Sorry about the head in the camera. You know, they, they screw everybody around, but for these rations, these are really nice. Now I would I would happily join back up just to eat these again. I don't think the wife would like it. What are you doing up for? <laughs> Do I eat rations again? And get paid for it. <laughs> hmm. I'm not too sure on that. A little bit dry, but it's got a nice taste to it. Not sure about it, and I shove it all in. So, right. <laughs> no, slow down. Good deal. I'm losing the idea. Just going in my head, old pictures and you know <laughs> of where I've been and just with those biscuit, <coughs> excuse me, with these biscuit fruits. And it's going through my head, just reminding me of the places I've been. In. Some good, some bad. Yeah. It's crazy isn't it? when you smell certain things and you taste certain things, you just instantly just. Christ, yeah, I remember that. That was a good time and all of it. See, this is new. Peanuts. All we all used to get in, like I said, you know, the two main meals, bar of chocolate, your biscuit browns, and, and your biscuit fruits, uh, and a pate, and then you brew it. That was pretty much it. So, this is, this is way, way, way better. Okay. Sweet chili Mexican peanut. Arriba, arriba! Yeah, they're quite nice. It's a bit loud, wasn't it? <laughs> Can't really taste the sweet chili. But again, it's good for protein. This Russian pack, um, G G P O R P, can't remember what that bloody means now. Contains 4,000 calories. It's to be eaten over a 24-hour period. Well, I am very, very happy. As the proverbial pig in the you know what. Now, the only thing I can't see is there's pepper, but no salt. I mean, that's no biggie. I may have just missed it, or it might. But I must admit, this feedback form. We value your feedback and hope to keep us improving your rations. We're <coughs> using comments. <coughs> There's a chili. <coughs> English best, best before ends to second to twenty one. See, I do, I think it's good. I got a laugh, is you know, they always say best before end. I mean, Christ, I was having rations that were like 10 years old.
rate menu out of 10. 10. <laughs> Not because it's British, just the fact of the amount of stuff you get. That, that. I've never had four lots of drinks. Cold drink, you know, sachets in a Russian. It was always one. Always one. And it was always called, well, lemon powder, and we called it scritch. Because it made your teeth go in Esther Ranson. <coughs> Ten. I mean, I haven't tried any of the food yet. <coughs> Stuck in. I mean, when we try the food, it might change. But, <clears throat> just, that is ridiculous, the amount of stuff you get. And I like the way they put this, the chewing gum now in these packets. Before it coming out the, the, um, like the standard stuff you get in the shop. And it would always be, like, really soft and mushy together and It's about time actually. <clears throat> Thought about these, the rations and what the, what the lads and lasses want, or what we wanted. You know, it's not all just Cold War stuff like it was. Now, you know, it's all changed, and you know. So two lots of anti antibacterial wipes. I wish they had these before. Um, Especially me being in places like Iraq and Afghanistan where the hygiene there is not great because I was watching members just sitting outside of um, Azazubai <clears throat> and they were just shitting in the field, getting around with their left hand or the camera was always, just wiping it and rubbing it on the floor, you know. And then cooking, and cooking at the same time. Right, I'll pause it there for now. Because I know the wife wants to try some of these. <clears throat> so I'll probably cook up the food at dinner at tea time. Because she'll like this sauce. I'm not into this pepper sauce stuff. But she might like it. It's because she's Scottish and weird. And then we'll try the drinks as well. Um, I'll get my son involved in that because he likes sweet stuff. But Tropical flavour, actually I remember the tropical flavour, that's quite nice. Grapefruit, I remember that being quite nice as well. Hot chocolate, I'm not a hot chocolate fan, so he still got, oh yeah, I've got to give him that one, it's hot chocolate there, so. What was that one? Raspberry. And apple flavour energy. Beyond the beaten track. Yeah. So far, so good. Just with the the, sort of the quantity of stuff you've got, <clears throat> I'm not going to say the quality is fantastic, but so far it's been good. The fact with the biscuit browns, the cola bottles, because um, whenever I used to go on anywhere, we used to have like a bag of Haribo, and that was just Morella in a bag, and that is now perfect Morella in a bag. Chewing gum, the nuts is quite a different new one for me, but I don't care. I've got me biscuit fruits, so I'm happy. Uh, yeah, once she gets back, um, and then we'll do it in tea time, we'll cook it up and taste it. And then we'll do, and then we'll go from there. <clears throat> I have got, actually, before I f before we cut off for now, which I'll probably mention again later on, <clears throat> I've got a friend of mine who's, um, who is in the military in Norway, um, and he is, I've asked him if he can send me some rations, but he says they don't do them. But he's going to um, send me over some Norwegian real field meals. Uh, <clears throat> whatever that means. So I guess it's kind of like the Russians, maybe. Um, yeah. So. I'm looking forward to the meals now. But I'm going to wait. <clears throat> right. Thanks for watching so far. Let's get on with cooking these up and testing them. 
good afternoon everybody uh, now we're going to do um, the one of the rations that we got from the uh, British MRE or uh, it's not an MRE is it? British 24 rations this is the spaghetti bolognese oh sorry pasta bolognese <laughs> and the granddaughter's hungry too so she's gonna have some more um, yeah so because can't be asked to wait. We're going to do it the uh, the old-fashioned way in the kettle. So whenever eating rations, we've always done, or I've always done, when you come to prepare it, lay on a flat surface and like slide it down like this. Okay. And that way, all the food at the bottom fold it over, and then you get more, especially when you're using the. Um, boiling vessel on a vehicle or you messed in you can actually get more in or it goes in better it sits in there so we'll shove that in the kettle and let that boil away for a couple of minutes and then we'll come back to it okay um, and here we have the pasta bolognese which looks a bit like the um, the Latvian one we had or Lithuanian one sorry so this is inside and that's what it looks like. It actually smells really nice. So, that's pretty good. That is good. There you go. I don't know if it'll focus in on it. Let's see, it focuses too much on my head. But, there is definitely a good amount of pasta to, to mince there. <laughs> That's the granddaughter she wants some as well. So, I'll feed her and then we'll be back. Ooh. That's the first time I've had that one as well. Um, and I am very, very, very surprised at how much you get um, and just the quality of it. I mean, you know, I might be, I'm not biased at all. You know, that is that was a good Russian pack. It was about probably weighed about two and a half kilos, and you get so much in there. It's unbelievable. I've been told to look at the French ones, so I'll have a look at the French ones. Um, Italian ones I'll try and get all of some of those I've been told to look at North Korean ones so I'll try and get all the North Korean ones uh, and I'm going to get that big Russian um, the Russian Special Forces one because I think that last one really didn't do the Russians any justice uh, oh, I say didn't do any justice uh, it was just maybe I just picked the wrong menu um, but I'm not going to risk it. So if I get the special forces one, because always SF guys get better stuff, so I'll do that. It's going to cost me 50 quid, so it better be worth it. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching the video so far, um, and I guess I'll see you on the next Russian review. Take it easy.